What's up, boys? We're back. Taking a look at some more NBA player props today over on prize picks, currently on a 71% run, aka a 12 and 5 run over on the Patreon. So let's go ahead and dive in, take a look at these player props today. This suit applies to prize picks, but also other player prop websites out there and also sports books out there. We're taking a look at these player props over on prize picks. Prize picks is available in most states and most in Canada. You have to be 18 years or older if you want to go ahead and join. Just download their app off the App Store or use the link down in my description below. And if you use my code DUMG, that, that will get you guys a 100% deposit match up to $100. So a bunch of you guys have used my code. Genuinely, I do appreciate it. But now let's go ahead and hop in. Yesterday, Simmons hit pretty easily in the second quarter. However, James Harden was absolutely terrible yesterday. So we ended up losing our James Harden prop yesterday to go 1-1. One one. We did sweep the video before sweep. It was 2-0. Oh, so we're on a 3-1 run in these videos. But uh, also, the Patriots have been going pretty well, though. Like I said, we're on a 12-5 and five NBA run. Took a small step back last night. Tuesdays are always usually a little bit weird for me. Wednesday is actually, I believe, my best day if I'm not wrong. I think Wednesday is my best day when it comes to player props, but we're also on a 5-1 and run for the NFL. Just went 5-1 and this past uh, Super Wildcard weekend. So if you want to join, the link is down in my description below. Here's the full breakdown of that Patreon where I have over 600 members. If you are interested in seeing every single one of my plays, check out the Patreon. The link is down in the description below. There are three different tiers. There's NFL, NBA, and all sports. With access to the Patreon, you guys get every single play that I play on top of these plays being ranked by confidence level and write-ups to go with every single prop that I post. Once again, the link is down in the description below, so check it out. So again, you can join 600 other people in that Patreon, talk about player props all the time over there in the comments section, and you can see everything that I'm playing tonight. So if you want to join, the link is down in my description below. Otherwise, I have these two free player props for you in today's video. So make sure you subscribe and have those post notifications on so you do not miss future videos. But now let's hop in. Just also leave a like on the video. I really would appreciate it. And let's dive into player prop number one. Here we go. So we're going to go over to the NBA tab. We're going to go over to the assist category here. This should be available on Sportsbooks as well. I'm almost guaranteeing that it will be. Um, but we're going to go ahead and go down the assist category. And I like in the late game today, LeBron James, over seven and a half assists. LeBron, he's been over this in four out of his last five games with his one miss being against Sacramento, who he plays today, where he had seven. He fell on the hook last time against Sacramento. Uh, and again, he's playing them today. But he's averaging nine in his last five games here. But that's not that's not why I like this prop. Make sure you tail thrown risk and looking at these a little bit more on your own. And stay for the breakdown. Listen to why I like this prop so much. First off, let's take a look at what he's at on the sports books right now in his odds. This can help you if you over on prize picks. However, I'm also taking a look at this because a lot of the guys that watch this video are on sports books, but he has actually moved up to 8.5 on FanDuel. He's a plus 118 to go over 8.5. That's a little bit risky, I feel like, in my opinion. At 8.5, it's, uh, you know, you're getting pretty good value at plus 118, but minus 135 right there on DK, I think is a fair price uh, to go over 7.5. He's like a minus 137 on prize picks. So LeBron James, though, 7.5 assists. I like the spot for him. Let's dive in though, take a look at this game real quick. So he's going to be at home going against Sacramento. He's actually been over this in 50% of games this season. 50% of games he's been over this. However, when he is at home this season, he has been over this in 75%. So it bumps up from a seven from a 50% hit rate to a 75% hit rate when at home. That's a 25% difference between when he's at when he's just his normal game log and when he's at home. That's a pretty damn huge difference right there. So he's been over this also in five out of his last seven games. You can see all of his assists right here. Five of his last seven, he's been over this. I'm sorry, uh, this is a game log right here. Five of the last five of his last seven he's been over and he's actually been over this in four out of five games without austin reeves and without lonnie walker and both those guys are missing today so four out of five his only miss was on the hook against San, uh, against sacramento but last time he was facing sacramento on the road this time he's at home and i think he can go ahead and get those eight assists hopefully in this game right here this game is a massive 245 over under with a four and a half point spread so this game should not blow out and there should be a lot of points scored. there should be plenty of opportunities for lebron james to dish out some assists still no anthony davis of course but reeves and walker should be able to help LeBron right here get the ball in his hands just a little bit more in this one. So I really do like LeBron James. Just really, you can see his split between his just normal game log and when he's at home. You can just see how many times he's been over his seven and a half assists when he's been at home this season. He's actually fallen on the hook quite a few times. Um, but I will say, otherwise, you can go back later in the season. He's still been over this quite a few times. You can take a look at his assists uh, right here. So I'm also, I was looking at his rebounds. I meant to go to the assists right here. 9, 10, 9, 10, 8, 9. He's been over this in, what is that, six straight? Six straight games at home. He's been over seven and a half assists. So I like the spot a lot here for LeBron. I think you can definitely go over this one uh, this time around against Sacramento. He went over last time against Sacramento when he was at home, I believe. 
uh, versus Kings. Let's take a look at this, see if uh, that was actually last season. I don't think he's played the Kings at home this season, but anyways, I think you can go over this time around. He's been, he's done this already this season against the Kings. He actually had 11 against them. I thought that one was at home, but apparently both of them were on the road. He had seven and 11 against them the last two times he's played them. But I think LeBron James goes over his assists yet again here against Sacramento. But let's go ahead and dive into player prep number two. But I really do like that LeBron prep right there. That's my favorite of the two, but really it's really damn close to me. Um, I like both of these two equally the same. It's actually going to be from the same exact game. So the same exact game here, I really enjoyed this second player prop, and he is on my Hall of Fame list. I'm probably maybe 7-0 on this guy's props this year. It's something crazy. I absolutely love this player. We're going over the NBA first half category. This is something that is pretty much exclusive to prize picks. However, um, if again, you guys can join prize picks and cash in on this NBA first half. I absolutely love NBA first half. Was I was able to cash Ben Simmons yesterday in the NBA first half category. However, I will have an alternative for this if you are on a sports book. So maybe another reason to join prize picks though. Link is in my description. NBA first half category. There's points, there's PRA, and there's fantasy score for the first half. We're actually going to stay in the points category here. And we're going to scroll down just a little bit to DeMontis Sabonis here at 10 and a half first half points. I love my man DeMontis. I'm wearing his jersey right now. I don't know why this is showing up on the camera as blue. I promise that's purple, but he's my guy, man. And I hope he can cash for me yet again here. So he's been over this in four of his last five games here, averaging, uh, averaging 11 in his last five games. If you are in a sports book though, I do like his full game points and I do like his full game PRA. I'm not really liking his uh, first half PRA, I will say. But at 20 and a half, I like the spot right there. 21 and a half, I think is a little bit too much. But uh, like a minus 120, 20 and a half, I like that. Uh, always can go over his PRA as well. And uh, you can find that at like 43 and a half. I think it's a pretty good spot. Uh, minus 105 at 43 and a half on MGM is a really interesting spot considering he's like minus 115 at 44 and a half. So that's an interesting spot right there for DeMontas. I like that. But I like his full game points. I like his full game PRA. But I prefer over anything. This is 10.5 first half points right here for DeMontis. And let me dive in and show you guys why I like this prop right here. So let's go ahead and talk about this game real quick. So he's going to be on the road going to the Lakers. And he's got a split. He's got a split that I like for this one, just like I was talking about with LeBron James. You see how many times he's been over this, by the way, in his last 10 games. He's actually been over this in nine out of his last 10 games. The only game he went under was against the Houston Rockets right here, where he fell just one basket short because he shot 36.4%. If he just made, if he went five for 11, he would have gone over that prop right there. But nine out of his last 10 games right there, he's actually gone over this right here. So pretty solid hit rate, man. But it's, he's over this in 61% of games this season. But in away games, he goes from a 61% hit rate to a 74% in away games. So bronze 75% hit rate at home. DeMontis, 74% hit rate away. So you can take a look at his away game log and how good he's been on the road really this season. Went under against uh, Toronto right there. Uh, even with him shooting great, he just really didn't have the attempts in that one. But otherwise, he's been over this in plenty of away games, um, in, including a game against the Lakers earlier this season. He's actually had 12 already against the Lakers. That one was at home. He did have a game where he had five against the Lakers, I will say. Uh, he only took three attempts right there uh, for whatever reason. He only shot... Uh, you know, one for three. I don't know why that was, but against the Lakers earlier this season as well, he actually had 12 in the away game. So if you can scroll down just a little bit, where's this game? Uh, yeah, right there on the uh, November 11th, he had 12 points right there, shot six for nine. Uh, so pretty good shooting as well. He had 12 points in that one. But I think you can get over this uh, yet again here. And there's a couple of different reasons why I like this prop. Because like I talked about earlier, the overrunner is 245. The overrunner is 245. I really do like the overrunner in this one. Also, the spread is four and a half. Should not blow out, even though this is a first half prop. If you are taking this full game, hopefully this game does not blow out. Uh, but he's going to be starting at center here on the road, going to the Lakers, of course. Let's take a look at the center right here and how they match up against the Lakers. The Lakers are allowing, I believe, the seventh most points per game to the center so far this season. The seventh most and in the last seven games they're allowing the most points per game to the center allowing 28.91 points per game to the center in the last seven games so it seems to be a really good matchup for demontas here he's got a great split when it comes to on the road he's been over this in two out of three versus the lakers this season and i think you can make that three out of four i mean just the over under is great on this as well for both of these props that i posted or that i've showed you guys today uh these were posted on the patreon a little bit earlier today but lebron james over seven and a half assists demontas Sabonis over ten and a half first half points i really do enjoy both of those with the over under being so high and the spread being how it is i think this is a beautiful spot for both of these players today and i'm hoping that i can go ahead and cash on both of these i personally paired those two in a two pick power play but of course you do what you want it, you know it's tail drone risk do it do what you guys want with this information i'm just showing you guys my favorite player props for today let's hope to 
clutches up for me yet again here. I believe I'm so I got some kind of crazy record on him uh, really this season. He's been my goat. He's on my Hall of Fame list. Him and Marcus Smart are on my Hall of Fame list uh, for sure this season. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the very next video. Peace out, boys. Tail turn risk and best of luck tonight. All links are down in my description below. The Patreon link for 12 and 5 run and the uh, prize picks link down in my description below. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.